Right then, today was going to be a, a successful game update after we recreate IMAX in the game world. We were going to put the drone up and basically get an image of the whole spot so that the dons can go and scan it in and turn it into a playable sort of little bit of a map. But IMAX sits 10 meters within the zone that you cannot fly so literally if we go around the if we go around that corner and walk what was it 10 20 meters up the road the drone will take off and then we tried to fly it around here to get snaps of the of the place from the sky and it literally hits like an invisible wall in the sky so i've just come up to london to meet dado and get this shit rolling and uh <laughs> that's our discovery today we can't put the drone up so we've gone we're going old school we've got the tape measure and we're going to walk around this spot now and uh, Whatever. get the forever <laughs> and get the information we need to recreate it. <sighs> I've got no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I think like... like maybe even the bikes and stuff. Like maybe... Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a thing. Oh, there's another cone for you to place. <laughs> so right now I'm basically walking around the spot, trying to film as many elements of it as possible so that the guys can, uh, can recreate it in their program. The problem now that the drone can't go up is that a lot of it's going to be manual for them. So they're literally going to be designing this spot from scratch because the drone can't fly and they can't get the scans that they wanted to get. So hopefully it works all right. So this brown pillar is in line with the lamppost in the middle. Oh, yeah. We have an arch bar at the top. You can't swing on it in real life, but in the game, definitely can. <laughs> How do you measure that angle? We just yeah. get, we just guess. <laughs> we're in 30 degrees, I don't know. Quite a sharp angle though. Nothing can tell you how popular a parkour spot is, like a lamppost covered in stickers from all over the world. <laughs> BK for a life, bro. From the wall to the top of the lamppost is 3 meters 50. Bosh. Look at this dude, man. He's a fucking yeah. parkour legend. <laughs> Should we just uh, walk to the end and see with the tape measure? Yeah, let's do it. So these are our measurements. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a long walk, don't we? <laughs> oh, you're going to the end. All right. Do that part, uh, yeah, all right. Look at this. Professional. <laughs> Boom. 15. 15. <laughs> what are we doing? 25. Oh, why did they do that? That's so annoying. I thought it was going to be around 25. Right, 25 and 97. <laughs> Don't leave your phone on corners of walls in the middle of London. Idiot. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, flat gap, 10, 11, 12, 13, good gap, 1, 2, 13. 39 steps, 3 flights, 13 steps per flight, <laughs> and the flat gaps between, I don't know what they are. But yeah, let's change this sign, shall we? The fun bit is sort of being able to adjust spots, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna keep IMAX, I think, pretty much identical to obviously what it is that's the whole point is being able to like create your own lines at a place where you could actually go and visit but what we've just started thinking about is little tweaks like this here for example for years I've always wanted to try fast ascents up this but we can't because of this curved edge so in the game we'll probably just make this flat so it's possible make some ascents and descents on parts of the spot which haven't really ever been used little tweaks that that uh, don't take away from the spot, only add options in the game. I think that could be cool. Maybe not though. If you want the iconic spots to be literally identical, it'd be interesting to know. Back corner, colorful lights. Like a walkway underpass, there's the spot. Oh, 
of shards. Make these pipes go down on the wall so you can run in and climb up. This is the full circle. Loading bay in there. That can be random, nobody really trains in there. Sparkly walls is cool. Circle back round to the spot. Dado's been explaining to me like the details of making a place look realistic and how like in the real world you never have one texture go straight to the next texture there's always some sort of dirt or some sort of little transitional detail he doesn't want to have repeat elements so in the real world you never see multiple of exactly the same thing um, in the game they want to simulate that so like right now he's taking a picture of this tiny little number on the side of that pillar Little things like this, stuff like that. Obviously it's all ch always changing here, but it's pretty cool the level of detail which Dado and the team are putting into these spots. Some of the angles are tough. These sort of angles and how they all match up and how this, like this is a little bit taller up that end than it is at this end. So these rails and these windowsills are used quite a lot. So definitely want to get those in. You can jump from this windowsill Wait, to the rail, to the wall. These are the rails. About one story drop down there. These bars are interesting. Two bars link this, and then you have the curved bars in between, the top of the corner. This wall, the back angled wall, comes straight and actually lines up with this pillar. And the rail carries on, same, same thing. And then here, Handrails, bollards, and then this big drop, same drop as over there, I guess. And this is the spot, thick wall, same height. Here we can vault this wall, handrail, wall, down. So that goes through to the stairs at the other part of the spot, that's what it looks like. Okay, so we're getting there, we've got lots of measurements. Dado's at the top for the major, the final height, hopefully the tape measure reaches. It's got, that's five meters to there, it's pretty much exactly my height. Oh, maybe it's higher here. <laughs> okay, yeah, add me onto that and we've got the height of the highest section, nice. Next spot, IMAX 2. It's just started raining, so we're gonna get these real quick. The dimensions are the same, obviously, for the wall. Maybe it's higher. Hmm. Maybe it's higher. Yeah, it's higher. Yeah, 112, 113. What, what was it across? Yeah. 430, second part of the spot. Must look so weird. Yeah, yeah, 250. So the stairs come down there under walkway and then there's these lines lines details so that's the far rail we we're referencing bike rails can be random bin random another tree let's make some of the branches swingable this kind of curves around to there let's make this gap from the end of this rail to this rail let's make that 250 as well <laughs> 